Now, when you hear someone talk about thumbnails, that's a really weird word. I wonder where that comes from. I'm going to find out. Where does the word thumbnail come from? Okay, thank you, ChatGPT. So I just asked ChatGPT where the word thumbnail came from because where did it come from? And apparently it's to represent the idea that that is a preview of a sketch based on the size of your thumb. So it's like, ooh, here's a little sneak peek. So we have really become to know that thumbnails are that image we see on YouTube. As you can see on the screen here, this is what your thumbnail looks like. This is why we really try to make it engaging. If it is something that it may be graphically beautiful, but if people can't read or get instantly what the message is, people won't engage with it. So it's really important. Big letters. <laughs> it's like you're yelling at people. But when you sort of think about that, the image is only going to be small on the screen. You really want to make it legible enough. So people know what that video is about. You can get an essence of it from maybe some of the graphics in it, the colors, the design, etc. But make it so that people know what it is, what they're going to get, and if it's something they want to engage in. And we will be talking about how to create thumbnails when we go over into some of the Canva creations. Thank you.